Responding to the intensifying winter conditions in Mongolia, the government has declared a heightened state of preparedness across the nation. Six emergency groups led by ministers are actively working in countryside to address the challenges posed by the severe winter weather. During his recent working trip to the countryside, Amr Sahan Samboyan, Deputy Prime Minister of Mongolia and Chairman of the State Emergency Commission, encountered a surge in requests related to herders' loans. Consequently, the Deputy Prime Minister convened a meeting with the central and commercial bank officials to explore the possibility of postponing loan repayments. Subsequently, an agreement was reached to ease the financial burden on herders. Tauk Surum, President of the Bank of Mongolia, acknowledged the challenge challenges faced by the agriculture sector in 2023 and 2024, leading to an increased demand for the postponement of herders' loan repayments. He stated that the central bank is ready to provide policy support. The Bank of Mongolia's database reveals a total of 1.2 trillion Mongolian Tugriks in loans extended to 140,000 herders. Of these, 51.2 percent, or 600. 18 billion Mongolian Tugriks was provided by State Bank, while Han Bank provided 585 billion Mongolian Tugriks, equal to 48.5 percent. Taking proactive steps, Han Bank has already initiated the postponement of loan repayments for herdsmen who applied after December 1 of 2023. State Bank has also agreed to extend the loan repayment deadline until June 1 of 2024. In a related development, the National Reinsurance Company has committed to providing compensation for indexed insurance coverage for herdsmen insured in September and October of the previous year. This multifaceted approach aims to provide financial relief and support to herders grappling with the economic impact of the severe winter conditions.